Okay, Cody, how you doing? You got some great ideas up here. Um, good, good introduction here. And you've got some really good ideas. I would have liked to have seen a little more notes here so that we could just kind of get a better idea of exactly what's going on. It looks like a pro projection of some sort of holographic projection. That's good stuff. That's fantastic. So you've got some great ideas. Here's a touch screen again with uh, uh, the, the kiosk. And then we have here another interactive screen. So basically, you've got your configurator ideas down pat. That's fantastic. But let's take a look at the difference between design and human-centered design. So what I want you to do is I want you to go over to week five presentation and then download this human-centered design toolkit right here. It's the first reference uh, right here. Download that. That's this right here, this, this presentation right here. It's this human-centered design toolkit idea. Um, Design kit. So the field guide to human centered design. Read through it. It's a it's it's about 190 pages, but half the pages only have like a, a couple of sentences on it. It's a really quick read. And what, what this does is it describes the difference between design and human centered design. So in our example here for our our kiosk. So in in design we're done. We just we design it and we implement it and we're done. But in human centered design we take it a step further. We say okay we're designing a kiosk, but why are we designing a kiosk? So people can configure their cars. No. What is the bigger underlying problem. We're not out to change. We're not out to design a, a, a configurator kiosk. We're out to change the way people approach the purchase of a new car, which is quite a, 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 a unpleasant experience. And if you don't know, if you haven't experienced it yourself, ask anybody, ask your parents, friends, friends, family who have purchased a new car. It's extremely stressful. Um, salespeople are very, very pushy. Um, trying to get you to buy things you don't need. The interest of the customer is not in, in, in the, the best, uh, is not in uh, included in the, 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 the dealership or the salesman. They're not interested in what you need. They're interested in how much they can get you to spend. So let's just take a look at that whole problem and say, how can we use our configure kiosk to identify and address larger inherent problems in the industry? So basically, you can take your, your kiosk, your, your configurator and say, OK, what can we do from here? So can we add a simulator, a, a driving simulator? So all this information is loaded into a simulator. When you're done co configuring, you walk over to the simulator. You can take your car for a simulated test drive. In that simulator, you can do things like change road conditions change weather conditions. You could even change the way the car rides based on how old it is. So you could have an idea of what the car is going to drive like in 10 years. Um, you could also add calculators, financial calculators, to determine your percentage of total income based on your down payment. You could, you could add uh, calculators to figure out your resale value based on X amount of miles and X amount of years. You could add a, pro, a preliminary questionnaire that, that uh, asks questions about your physical stature as well as your driving habits. This way they could give suggestions for the most optimal model for you to choose based on that information. So those are just some examples, but I'm using that to get you to try to really push your creativity here. And instead of just designing a, a kiosk, forget that. Let's not just design a kiosk. Let's design a kiosk and let's, let's solve the bigger problem, which is addressing the inconsistencies um, associated with buying a new car in this country. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's push the creativity like you've never pushed your creativity before. Get as many ideas as you can. Talk to people. Um, uh, talk to people who are non-designers. Talk to them. If you're getting a haircut, ask the person cutting your hair. Hey, what do you think about this idea? What would you add to it? Get as many ideas as you can. And that's what deep dive is all about. Out, and that's what human-centered design is all about. Okay, so let's really, really push this. So instead of just designing a kiosk, we are actually designing ways to change the the standard way that people buy um, uh, automobiles in this country. All right, great. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. But that's what I would like you to concentrate on as we move through the project. All right, fantastic. Thank you very much, Cody.